Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we, uh, found Cloud, but he's a bit of a cripple. Also, was I supposed to come into this room? I, I don't know. In this part, we're heading to, uh, Coral. Coral. I headed to this room, I... Apparently, I have no clue what I'm doing. I think I gotta fly over... <laughs> go back to the cockpit, find out how to fly this thing. Tell him to fly it. Oh man, he's level 6. Yeah, we're taking off. So, okay, so I guess we're going to Coral. So, we gotta figure out which one it is. That's the one right next to the, uh, it's not... Whoa, jeez. Guys, do you see this? If I go in this direction, the uh, sky is clipping. Both in the top right corner and in the bottom right of where the sky is. Dang it, game, you're corner cutting. <laughs> or the PlayStation is really reeking from this. Uh, so I think Coral's on the left continent, isn't it? Oh, oh back here, yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, so I guess I could go anywhere I want. And possibly... You know what I actually am gonna do? I'm gonna check out that area. Can I fly over this? I can. Fly over anything. I'm gonna check out that town up here. Because I remember checking it out, or at least trying to get to it. And I hit a dead end, like, somewhere over here. I have no clue how to get it, like, on foot. I have no clue how to get it on foot. Maybe you go around a little bit and you're just coming from a different way, but... I feel like maybe now's a good time to, to check this out. I don't... I, this might be a side thing, because if we're going to Coral, I've been here before, so... so just land, and we'll check this place out. Well, it's a save point, that's a good sign. Life is like the dew on the leaves of the trees. Where the meteor falls or not, is more than is no more than a fleeting glimmer. Okay. Hello, Mr. Man. Hey yo, welcome. You weren't all tired of my rambling? Great, then come on and stop buying. Okay. Uh sword can't check that out. Uh, that would be great. I'm gonna get it. Because, like, look at that attack boost. I think that's the reason why I don't think Red 13 is doing well. Also, I may as well get this. I think there may have been something a bit more expensive that I think I found before, but... Eh. Okay, so now I guess we'll do some equipping! Woo! Except, yeah, bats... Uh, bat, Barrett Spears people, I feel like... Unless if it's... Like, death? I feel like it's okay to have people in the front row. It's more, it's not as much who you want to protect, but it's more so, uh, you know, I'll equip the javelin because, what, what was, what I have? Trident. This says double material and it's got the linking, which might be, I had the editing code before, but, did some stuff, uh, I'll keep this purely because, or what I've got, actually, The diamond bangle would be good because at least I can link some stuff. And this, uh, what would be good? Got the poison ring, which is better than the star pendant, but you never know when you might need more. The, which one's the one that protects against everything? The ribbon. The ribbon might be the most important thing, because I feel like all of normal effects is basically all of this. Okay, now we just gotta find out stuff to equip. So, not gravity. She may be gravity. Oh, try it out. Uh, don't put manipulate. We'll put a. Uh, elemental and. What happens if I have multiple alls? Uh, you know, I don't really have. I've got a few things I can put in here, but. I might as well just see stuff. So if Barrett's not in my party, I can remove this stuff. Which means I've got a buttload of material to sort out. Ugh, you guys are gonna be in for a treat. As if I find anything. Yeah, like look at all these pink purple ones. And no one else has any. These are my only characters now, I just realized. Uh, so I'll give him an all. We got MP Turbo, which might be alright, but... Uh... We got Kate Sith. Kate Sith will need... An 
and all as well. Now, what would we need it with? Uh, Red 13 definitely needs a fire attack. Where are my fire attacks? There it is. I only got the one, don't I? It's two stars. Good. Uh, we'll give him luck boss. Kaysis should probably get the uh, cover. Actually, no. Kaysis should also get luck while we're at it. Because I believe doesn't luck determine your dodge mm -hmm. chance? Well, not entirely, but some of it? Maybe. Uh, we'll give Red 13, uh, we will give him the, uh, Neo Bahamut. I'll also give him Lightning, and I'll give him the Sense, and I guess the Morph. Someone told me, by the way, I think it was the same person who's been telling me off for everything. Apparently Morph, it removes an eighth of their health, uh, but it only works, I think, if you will kill them like that. I believe it might give you special items. I, I don't have it on me because my internet died. Ah, so I'm just recording this just in spite. The tester. Uh, see, I've given him two elementals. Maybe I should give one of these guys an elemental. Maybe I should. Oh, one of them needs restore, don't they? Oh, crap. Why isn't it going to the right? I think I gotta equip the slot. Uh, so... I'll, I'll act quick. Okay, Seth will get the... Not the counter attack, he will get the added effect. With, uh... Ice. Because he's a bit more tanky, I'll give him restore, because... Hang up. And... Actually, should I put that on the all material? I should. Which means... I should also give him manipulate and... Sid the counterattack, because he'll be the best counterattacking. He's got fire, he's got elemental, which means he should get Comet. Give him Comet, I guess. And that just gives us a few more, basically, the summons. So, I guess, give him Ifrit. Neo Bahamut. Shiva. And last but not least. Crap, I've got some more stuff, don't I? Uh. Give him poison. Eh. Also, while we're at it, uh, go to the list and arrange. Makes it a bit easier on myself. I've got the MP Turbo, but honestly, I don't think any of these guys are too magic will do. And this guy, the Trumpet Shell, is always good, except there's no Materia, which is a bit of a problem. But honestly, I bought the Blue M Phone as well, didn't I? Is there anything that gives him more Materia? Yeah, I didn't coat one help. I'd rather not use the adding code field because I can't link material otherwise. Uh, spirit. I'll give him the poison ring. Which means he doesn't have a lot of material now. So, yay! And I guess we'll equip stuff on Red 13 and we'll see that what happens. Seraph cone. Yep. Let's see, he's got terrible defense. But the gold armor is probably what I need. Exactly what I need, basically. And strength, uh, yeah, we'll give him strength. So that means he can he can equip one more thing, but his all material is not linked. So that just means I just move it. Yeah, basically. Uh, that means he can also give him one thing. So I'm gonna give him the uh That means Kaiseth is going to be the healer, which means he's going to have to get Restore and all put together. He's got an added effect of Ice, which is always a good thing. So I'm... That also doesn't mean he gets luck. So... Whew, man, this material system. Anyway, that's it. That's all we need. Ten minutes in, literally just sorted out inventory. So I guess we'll make this one go off for a bit. Turtles Paradise is now having a publicity campaign. Flyers will be posted all over the world, so make sure you look for our flyers and say Turtles Paragon. You know, I have seen one of them. I saw one of them in, uh, what was it? I can't remember the place. The place where Red 13 and all the stuff. I think they're in other people's inns. Do I get a reward for at least finding one? Excuse me, man. Whoa. Hey, things look pretty sad around here, but the things 
with things the way they are in the world, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. running around like a fool won't help matters anyway. Any, so we might as well sit back and have a beer. Okay. Um. Okay. So, uh, I guess, uh, if anyone wants to tell me where they are, sure, because I'm just lazy. Uh, I'm too lazy to look this up. I'm guessing I can. Does that walk out of town if I go up that far? You're an odd one. There's a chest I got. Uh, high potion, Phoenix Downs. Did I have 30? I think I did have 30. Now I have 40. Joker both. Joker feather. Swift bolt. Uh. Uh, see, I, I see the value of the tent, and maybe I should use the tent more often sometimes? I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel like I've been okay with the tent. Can I just loot your chest? Uh, I need this chest. It's glowing. But this person's, oh, so I guess they're not selling materia. Save point, oh, I'll just pass you. It's not like I just went through all that business. What's back here? I like their, uh, statues. Because you can walk on them and no one cares. So, this is kind of interesting why I get to be, like, Sid now, because it's like, I, I was Tifa for a brief moment, and Tifa was just like, eh. Okay, now, here's the point where we get to see if I am okay at fighting things. So, I don't think I should have been able to come here. You know, they don't do a lot of damage. And there's counterattack, and they have, like, a thousand health. Yeah, I'm fine. You see how much damage they're doing to back row people? Oh my gosh. Look at that crit. I love it. Oh no, not to red third actually to everyone. Does that reflect poison? I guess they're probably immune to poison. And I guess I could just do tons of damage and Sid can just crit all the time. Also, while we're at it, let's just see if Red 13 has three X potions? Holy crap, that was beautiful. I just want to see if Red 13 has another limit break. I haven't gotten his other limit break. I guess I haven't used him that much. I know, I know Sid doesn't have his other limit break, but... And they get four of them. That's why I'm a little bit worried about it. Is that if I'm... I don't think I'm just realizing that they've got a second limit break, but it's like... For two of my characters, I don't have that second limit break. So, both of these guys are just front rowers. You know, they're very weak, but the... My issue is... I don't have anything to do here. So if they are really weak... Dance, monkey, dance! Dance, Sid! That just suck all its MP. Dang. Now I gotta sleep bad and in. Or buy a tent. You know what's cheaper? I feel like tents are eventually gonna be cheaper than anything. I think they're 300 gil each. So they're not gonna be as cheap as thing I was, but it's like, yeah. Okay, so I can't do anything up here. I just walked around. I can hold down right and glitch myself kind of there. That's a good thing. I like these backdrops, by the way. So I guess now would be a good time to uh, talk about what I was gonna talk about. Eons back, uh, two parts ago I said I wanted to bring up The Order 1886. I know now it's probably, it's been like a week and a half since it's come out. As, at the time of probably posting this. Recording this, it's come out today in America. And my internet has kind of been like really slow. But I checked on, uh, game rankings. And a lot of people, the X potions, wow! Is this really where you can just grind X potions? Because that's beautiful. Uh, but uh, anyway, so... Uh, if any of you guys don't know, Yorder 1886 is a PS4 exclusive cover-based shooter, and I haven't really been paying too much attention about it, but I remember hearing that it was hyped, like, quite a bit. And I can see why it's hyped, um, because, like, just based on, like, the concept, it's a steampunk werewolf shooter, oh my gosh, cat. I can really glitch that out. Is that a staircase? Or is that just a bunch of... Because there's a room above. Um, 
but yeah. So, and it kind of sparked a bit of controversy before it came out, because some reviewers started to note that the game was five hours long, which is a bit of a... The sky is a bit... And Bowser's house. It's a bit of a stretch. Five hours is a bit of a stretch. Because, uh, I saw a walkthrough on the internet and it was five hours forty-six. So, give it, give it a bit of rounding. Still though, I think that's a little bit short for a $60 shooter. And now I'm going to talk about game length, okay? No one complains that a music album is ridiculously short unless it's like half the length that they were expecting and it doesn't do anything with it. That's the thing. No one complains about music being too short if it's at least interesting in the short time. If it does a lot of cool stuff, people will excuse the short length. Same with movies. If it's very, very good in the short length, and I guess books as well, if it's very good in the short length, a lot of people will still love it for that. So, when people said the game is five, six hours long, that's really short, remember that the quality of the game, if, if it's the best six hours you've ever played, don't complain that it's six hours long. I mean, okay, so Portal came out. I know Portal's not as fair as a comparison, because it did come out at a cheaper price point, but at the same time, it's two hours, and I think I would be I would be fine spending twice as much money on it, because what is it, $10 on Steam? Okay, don't even need it then. Just head here. All the time. Uh, I have no clue where I'm going in this place, by the way. I if I just hit dead ends, I'll just... I'll, I'll just back out and try and find another place. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people were like, yeah, it's short. Portal, it's a short game, but it's also very good for that short time length. Go, 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 what do you want? Don't have any car, anything much to say. You shouldn't be able to go rest yourself here. Go, go, make yourself at home. Okay. <laughs> this guy is living life. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Praise the golden statue. So, yeah. Now. So yeah, definitely smarter rev smarter people have noted that the game, even though it's six hours long, oddly recycles bosses. Ooh, I, I noticed that the door was kind of weird. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, wait a minute. Who did I equip a hairpin onto? It said that I equip a hairpin onto you. The attack percentages, it's a, ooh. The attack percentage is really high for this, but the lack of materia is a bit of a problem. However, I then sort of said long range weapon. I'm like, ooh, that might be interesting. That might be interesting. It's, the materia is the problem because I'm also dealing with the fact that, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm dealing with the fact that Sid, oh no, um, Kate Sith doesn't have any primary materia. That's the problem for me. And wait a minute, hold on. Is the trumpet shell a long-range weapon? No. So I, I'm having to deal with that. Uh, but I would totally... If I didn't, I would totally use that. But I do, so... I'd rather have a bit more material than... I'll keep that weapon in mind, though. The hit percentage is very nice. 120%, jeez. Um, but, uh, so yeah. So, yeah, a lot of people, like... It's short, but it recycles stuff. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna watch the first hour of that walkthrough. Literally, the first 20 minutes were cutscene, walk down a hallway, cutscene, quick time event, hallway, cutscene. There was no shooting. I understand, they're building a plot, sure and sure. So it's, yeah. But then there's a bit later where you suddenly get a gun and you're walking. Heart scene, walking, freeze! You aren't from a Wutai, are you? No. Only those from Wutai man to the tower. May I ask for you to believe? Ah. Uh, uh, but yeah. Th there wasn't any shooting until at least half an hour in. <sighs> I tried. Uh, so half an hour without a shooting, especially in a shorter game. That's like saying if in Portal, in Portal, if it took 15 minutes before you even, like, 
Sora portal. I understand at the beginning, they they don't give you the portal gun right away. It, there's two chambers before you get the portal gun. And you only get the, the basic portal gun even. But, that's not 10 minutes. And one that's also still kind of interesting. Because seeing the portals is cool. That's what they do. This is a game about hunting down werewolves. I'm leaving this place, by the way. I've run out of things to do in it. This is a game about hunting down werewolves. Whoa, that was that was a weird effect. Uh, hunting down werewolves. So why aren't you hunting down werewolves? I understand maybe a bit of like build up, sure. If if it's a gothic horror game, like in the 1800s, like they're trying to set, sure. I don't know where this cave goes. Definitely looks like I should be able to to go in if it will let me land. It's a little bit finicky and let me land. Yeah, I guess it doesn't want me to land up here. Um. But yeah, surely, yeah. If if it's got the horror setting, I because I read a uh, Dracula. At school, and uh, Dracula, it's like, yeah, it takes its time trying to before it brings up any vampires. I don't know what that place is. Want to check it out? Sure. I think I might have been there before. Jeez, that looks like a thing. I thought uh, this is the place I'm supposed to go. To. Ruined reactor. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll, we're doing this. Crap. But I am doing seven. Yeah, I can take this. No problem. <laughs> okay. I thought I was gonna. What's what's the ELP album? Well, the one with the armadillo on the front. Not that one. Um. So yeah. So, I watched it, and sure enough, there is a bit of werewolf shooting. Titan. What's, what's the Titan? Where, where did I, where is it gone? Titan, there we go. It's a summon. It's an earth summon. What kind of materials in case Sith have? No summons, got it. What about Sid? He does have a summon. Neo Bahamut, I'll give him Neo Bahamut, but I guess Shiva has gotten plenty of love. See Titans. Let's just see what happens. Um, I guess can I do anything here? I know I just gotta fight like no clue what it's called. Stegosaurus tank. And dies into it. Um, so yeah. On top of that, I feel I feel like yeah. It. I think the second, the first level was nothing. There are 16 levels, I've, I've heard. The first level, there was nothing. No gameplay. The second level, there was shooting guys. But the thing is, the game doesn't do anything interesting that I saw. It was just a cover-based shooter. I mean, sure, when you get to the werewolf fighting, I think there's a dodge button. And I'm like, that is a good idea. A dodge button. Because you know what a dodge button can do? can give you so much depth in terms of the shooting because you're like shoot 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 make sure you dodge it's like uh if you have played Dark Souls or something or Monster Hunter which by the way I've been playing so much Monster Hunter for oh my gosh um man Second Source Rex has been following us all the time but um yeah I'm like that'd be interesting I actually think that as the game progresses the werewolf shooting might be interesting if they do enemies that say do obvious tells and you can duck out of the way with your dodge button and then take shots at them. That'd be interesting. I thought that was going to be the thing. But then it's like, why do they start with cover base shooting? Why? Why? There is nothing interesting about that. Nothing. At all. It, I, I don't care about the setting. I don't care about any funky weapons you're getting. You have nothing interesting about what you're going up against. One of these frogs. One of these frogs. One of these frogs. Wow. <laughs> People watching this are just gonna consider this a more conscious. Yeah, look, look at them. But I did grab material. 
Oh, I, that left the place, apparently. Uh, what was the other fork in the road? It went right as well. Oh, it's that leaves as well. Um, so yeah. Compare this to, uh, I'm gonna say Wolfenstein the New Order, which I feel is... Oh my gosh, these enemies. I feel like Wolfenstein the New Order was one of my more favorite games of last year. Purely because, sure, it's a cover-based shooter. To some degree. Oh, I'm back here. Junon. How did this person find out about that, by the way? What about you, lassie? I, I'm glad that people don't trust Shinra anymore, but... Completely forgot that this was even here, I... So, this leaves the place. Because it's like, didn't it just automatically leave this area? Yeah, I, it did actually. Uh... I guess we'll go to one more place before we <laughs> end the part off. Uh, we got... This place. Crap. I accidentally quit. Well, at least they're also reminding you of what you should be doing. Um, can I land on rock? Will it let me? It won't let you ra land on rock. It's only going to let you land on grass, which means I gotta go all the way out here. Probably fight a few enemies on the way. Um, so yeah, compare that to Wolfenstein the New Order. Sure, it is a bit of a cover based shooter, but immediately from the get go, you're not... I, I feel like the opening sequence is a little bit weak. I I feel like, yeah, the uh, walking around the area, doing the tutorial business in the plane, I get it. But after that, the, f the first level once you're off that, that is very good, mainly because it shows the exploration, it shows a bunch of cool enemies and stuff, and it shows you some of the cool weapons and stuff. Immediately in the... this place. Is this place gonna tell me anything? I, I love that a lot of the dialogue is different now, but... I feel like a lot of these places aren't really that good. <laughs> yeah, let's not check out this place. I've been here already countless times. Um, I also love how the world music is a bit different. So... Yeah, so... So which one was this place? They're not gonna let me walk in here, aren't they? How do you land in here? I can't drive forward into it. I can't land there. Okay. Uh. You? Mount the trail. I don't remember going to that cave. Maybe they upgrade the landing gear on this thing. Which one was this place? So yeah. So... Oh, Rare Rock Town. God. So, yeah. So, Wolfenstein New Order. Much better game. I'd actually recommend that to PS4 people. Instead of Wolfenstein. I know, yeah, probably a lot of people were like waiting for... That is Coral right there, isn't it? It is. Oh, may as well check it out. Probably hit a save point pretty early on, if anything. Uh, Gold Saucer. I'm not going to do anything to Gold Saucer. We're just going to figure out how we can get to the back area. North Corral. It's probably here. Walking across the Bridge of Hope. Hope we don't fight them vault cords. Preemptive attack! <laughs> okay, so, uh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so. This. I think they had a trade. a uh, trade embargo. <laughs> How much Civ have I been playing? A, a, a few. Um. I've gotta walk through all this, don't I? In order to find the reactor. Oh. Um. Because, like, these are gonna be really easy enemies, right? Died in a single hit. And they deal 29 damage. I'm probably wasting my time. Right. Oh, 
Well, um... Yeah, so... So, I think they had a review embargo, because I hadn't actually heard of anything. I knew a lot of people were talking about this, uh... This, um... Wow, the angle! What is... Because I'm looking above him, but the angle of the picture isn't quite above him. Uh, so... Yeah. Because I hadn't seen any reviews, and I'm like, wait, so how has someone already played through the entire game and uploaded it to YouTube and not reviewed the thing? And I'm guessing it's probably just they didn't want anyone reviewing the game before it came out, so... Uh, which I... Can I just say... Developers should really stop doing that. Or publishers. Can, they, can you stop doing that? Or at least significantly on the day of release. Because it's like, they're trying to reap in as much money from pre-orders. I may as well end the part off here, but I will rant a little bit uh, while I'm done. So, anyway, so the reviews were done. The reviews came out, and generally, I think I saw 63% on game rankings. I'm starting to not trust game rankings, really, because it's like, yeah, it doesn't give you any opinion about the game. It just kind of tells you what's wrong with it or something. Or, like, what people think. But generally... It's good in terms of generalization, especially if you're going across the same set of reviewers over and over again. And with this game, it came out 63%, which is not that great. It's not that great. I feel like it's a lot of generalization. Like, a lot of reviewers are just like, ah, give it a 6. Because it looks good. And, yeah, it looks good, but... Um... Yeah, a lot of them were basically listening to stuff I talked about. They were just saying it was boring. It didn't do anything. I'm like, yes, that's what it looked like. There may, I think there may have been cool weapons later, but especially there was one bit in the third level where you're chasing a werewolf like once you exit the sewer and you get this art gun as they call it and they immediately teach you that you use the art gun to destroy a gate. Okay, then you turn around the corner and you see a gate in front of you and you're not supposed to shoot that one because it doesn't let you. You're supposed to keep going through the corridor around the corner even though that there is a gate immediately presented in front of you. And I'm like, that is poor game design. And I feel like a lot of that game Definitely, yeah, it's just missed opportunity. They, I think they spent way too much on art assets, if anything. Uh, this is purely on uh, speculation, because I haven't played the game. I don't even own a PS4. I wasn't even going to get it, but this is just me watching the first hour of gameplay and going, yeah, this isn't the most interesting thing. So I feel like, yeah, publishers, yeah, you should, I don't know, I don't know I'd say skip it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later on Final Fantasy 7 Blind when we will continue on this way and we'll, I guess we'll do a little bit of story, but I don't want to go too far on because I feel like I will be missing out on stuff if I do too much. So, next part, that'll be it for my session. Anyway, see you kids then.